you won't believe where we've ended up this week. Yeah. Farmer G has opened a pop-up campsite and it is impressive. Look at those views. Which way are we going? Don't know. Where do you want to go? Do you want to just go? Oh, we could go down here. We're going to have a pop down the track here. Follow us. Stay there. <laughs> I'm going to start to wear wigs, so I'm going to start to look different because I've got I've got van hair permanent. Permanent van hair. Camp hair, I meant. Camp, I've got camp hair. Because we don't possess a mirror in our camp van. So I've permanently got camp hair and it looks pillock. And I don't suit hats, so otherwise I'd put a hat on my head. <laughs> I'm just going to have to buy wigs and wear wigs instead of having to do my hair. Quick while there's no need in the toilets. Let's show them what they, what they look like. Yeah, let's show you what the toilets are. Come. Follow her. Follow Cheryl. They're very clean. I'm not I'm not disputing the fact that it, they're beautiful and clean. Angle. Nice. Bit of a poster. But the, the, right. but the wood, right? And it goes uh, into there. Which is... On the other side of the toilet. The side Another of the light. Toilet. It's got a mirror. And because... And so it's clean, it's nice. Yeah, it's uh, very clean. Modern floors to stop your, uh, so you don't actually need to wear your boots when you're walking. The only thing is, is an awkward, I had an awkward poo this morning because there was a dude in the shower next to me while I'm trying to poo. And I could hear him showering, I'm sure he could hear me pooing. <laughs> Hot and cold. If anybody was wondering, he's got this, look, recycling. Yeah, people insist on just throwing any rubbish in, so we'll recycle it. That, Elson Point, fabulous, just keep it clean. There is water there to wash everything down, so there's no need to get your toilet roll and other stuff. His mother's farm is just, it's the next farm down the road. So, I think between them, they own all the land between here and England. <laughs> the farm is absolutely massive. We took the drone up in the air as well. Just to see what the view was like, and it just goes, it's just countryside forever. You can't see anything else. It's brilliant. If you want to get it away from it all, this is the place you need to go. And it's red hot too. It's, it's it is. Absolutely. The weather. Gorgeous. You know how you look on the weather up like you do every day when you're out on a pass. <laughs> the weather said it was going to be atrocious. It was going to be abysmal. We've got like 300% chance of rain in office. No. no. Look at it. Blue skies, all right, there's clouds there, but blue skies. <laughs> and the weather's marvellous. After the uh, COVID 2020 episode, nobody can go abroad. Nobody's got passports anymore, and everyone's decided camping in the UK is going to be the thing. And we can't get a tent full of no money, all because of this. And his family, G, and you're setting it up? Yeah. Well, I just want to share what we've got you. We've got beautiful landscapes. Everybody seems to appreciate what we've got. And you'll see more of that in the video footage from the drone flyover. Yeah. Um, please view it. Please view it and come and see it for, you, for yourselves. Now then, Fam G, um, how long are you anticipating keeping the camping going, do you think? Well, after meeting you yeah. and all the lovely people and all the lovely comments we've had here, I think it's an ongoing thing. Oh, we're glad about that. Another place we can go camping and it's beautiful scenery. You'll see that, like I said, in the video. Get yourself here, folks. This place is absolutely amazing. It's just countryside for miles. It's absolutely miles. It's great yeah, for Everybody's the kids. welcome. Whatever size, from the biggest van to this classic here. Yeah? Oh, it's yeah? a classic. It's a classic. It's got to be a classic. 40-year-old. I mean, yeah, all, all welcome, all sizes. I, You know, just come and see us. All welcome, definitely. You'll have a Welsh, you'll have a, a real Welsh treat on your hands, yeah? Come and see us. I look after you. <laughs> Thank you, Farmer G. That's <laughs> pretty lovely. <laughs> so what is there to do around uh, Mineclockog? I hope that's it, that right. And, uh, and Rosebush, the area in, entirely, is full of history. Um, there are many walks you can go on. Uh, one, one which will take you to um, Stone Circle up there. There's a pub there that started off as a railway station. It's a, a zinc building, and um, once the railway closed, it was bought by a brewery, uh, turned into a pub, 
and then subsequently closed down again. But then uh, members of the public bought it. It's now community owned. They restored it. It's probably the only building of its kind in the world. The zinc building is never going to go away. And they make the best Sunday dinners ever. Get yourself up there. Try it out. It's called Tavern Sink. It's in Priscilla, And everybody's welcome. So where's, what else is there to do? While you're roaming around the Priscilla Mountains. <laughs> well, there's... Um, the old slate quarry there, which has uh, links with uh, Parliament, believe it or oh, not. Oh, you fancy taking a llama for a walk? No, I'm not kidding. You can go llama trekking in the area. Um, you get to take a llama on a leash and take it for a walk. No, you can't take it to Saff and Sink. Um, <laughs> it's, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Researchers have um, found the remains of a 13th century castle at Mine, Mine, bloody Mineclochog. 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 We've got it. Mineclochog. Yeah, they found the remains of a 13th century castle. I don't know if that's open to tourists or not. You can check it out if you want. There's a tunnel just outside Mineclochog. Um, apparently, it's achieved fame during World War II where Barnes Wallace was testing bombs. That's the same guy that invented the bouncing bomb that the uh, dam busters used. Get on that. Pantmanog Forest has uh, recently been opened with um, 12 kilometres of trails, mountain biking, horse riding. There's plenty of activities. Long there, the next minute I've got short, short hair. Uh, Put a hat on. I don't have suit hats. Put a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? What did I say, I forget. It's Lamella Navis. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> how are you? Lamella Navis here. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Told you she sounded like an Indian. <laughs> I don't sound like an Indian. Yeah, you do. <laughs> every every accent that you do turn into an Indian accent. <laughs> 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 <laughs>